Apple Silicon chips have been out for a while now, and developers have done a pretty good job in trying to get their apps compatible with the M1 chip, but there's still some software that's either not compatible with the M1 chip or that's compatible under Rosetta 2, that's the translation layer, which works pretty well, as you've seen the videos on this channel, Flutter being a pretty good example of a piece of software that actually runs faster on the M1, even with Rosetta 2 translations, but I'll get to that in a minute. Today, let's take a look at some popular developer tools that don't have native support on the M1 just yet. Some tools in Flutter 2 use Rosetta 2 translation environment, and you can switch to the beta or dev channels to take early advantage of further improvements as more native Apple Silicon support is built into the tooling. You can check out this repository right here for updates and any news on Apple Silicon compatibility for Flutter. Now, you've seen my test here with .NET. .NET version 5 is available to use via Rosetta, but .NET version 6 will have native Apple Silicon support. And you've seen me do a test with uh, one of the preview builds uh, of .NET 6 here a couple of videos ago. Currently, it's still under development and preview builds are available. Right now, according to the documentation, you can download preview 5 as of the time of this video. And if you take a look here, you'll see that ARM 64 is available for Mac OS at this time. Now, many of you have been asking about TensorFlow. The official Google distribution is currently not working, but Apple released via its Metal plugin right here. You can see in the documentation that they have compatibility you have to use this Apple plugin in order to get that. There are a few caveats though. It currently doesn't support multi GPUs, acceleration for Intel GPUs, or version 1 TensorFlow networks. So, limited support, and it's available only through this plugin. Many of you folks are fans of Unity. It's a cross platform game engine, and it runs under Rosetta 2. And it runs pretty well. You can check out my video on Unity on this channel. And I do a couple of comparisons of Unity running on the M1 versus an Intel chip actually runs really well and you don't even notice really. But the version with native support is in development and it's coming pretty soon, I guess. We'll see. And that one is going to be crazy fast. So keep an eye out for that one. If anybody out there uses Eclipse, the IDE runs under Rosetta 2 translation. But there's also a developer build that you can see on this page right here and you can download it. And this build supports Apple Silicon. All right, Visual Studio for Mac. And I've seen this confusion before down in the comments below. This is not to be confused with Visual Studio Code, and it's also not to be confused with Visual Studio 2019 or 2022. Visual Studio 2019 is the full-blown Visual Studio, works on Windows only. Same thing with Visual Studio 2022. Visual Studio Code is a cross-platform editor. Now it's kind of turning into an IDE, but that's a very popular one that works on all the platforms. And Visual Studio for Mac is a tool that's replicating all the Visual Studio proper, full-blown IDE support only on a Mac. So this one is more equivalent to Visual Studio 2019 and the Visual Studio code. I hope I didn't just confuse everybody even more. Thanks, Microsoft. <laughs> no, but seriously, Microsoft is doing some great work in these fields and they're, they're a powerhouse. They're just creating so many tools and so many popular tools. All right, enough of a sideline. Let's keep going with this. Espresso is another web editor for a Mac. It works under Rosetta 2. Atom is also a text editor built on Electron. Works under Rosetta 2. For those folks using Arduino IDE, currently works under Rosetta 2. And native support is in development. And of course, Android Studio. A lot of you folks have been waiting for that one. I do have a couple of videos covering Android Studio and its lack of support from earlier from this year, but they're working hard on this. And now we have Android Studio Arctic Fox Canary 15 available. There might be a newer one. Let me know in the comments if you know about that, but uh, I still need to do a video on that. And a lot of you have been asking about that. So that's coming up soon. Do subscribe to the channel to get those updates. So Android Studio is currently works under Rosetta 2 with native support only in preview. And it looks like there might still be some issues with the Android emulator. You saw me struggling with it in some of the previous videos. However, I haven't tested it since then, so a test is in order. For those of you folks that use R, R Studio, an IDE for R, runs via Rosetta 2 with, with a version that is built for Apple Silicon ARM architecture under development. And yes, you can get it under the nightly builds available right over here at this address. So there's the 
ARM64 version down here. Now, if anybody's using code blocks, it's an open source cross-platform IDE that isn't supported natively or via Rosetta 2. Sorry, folks. All right, MAMP and MAMP Pro. They're free local server environments and they do work under Rosetta 2. XAMPP is a web server solution stack package, works under Rosetta 2 just fine. It doesn't yet have full support under native. Now we've done MySQL tests before um, through one of my live streams here. If you're following the channel, you might have caught that. Through Homebrew, MySQL can actually be installed with native M1 support at this point. So that's pretty cool. And MySQL Workbench, a visual database design tool, works under Rosetta 2. So no native support, but those two things can work together. The Workbench under Rosetta 2, MySQL itself running full native M1. DBeaver, a SQL client application and database administration tool, they work under Rosetta 2. Multipass, it's a virtual machine manager. It currently is not supported natively or via Rosetta 2. Sorry, folks. If you're a fan of Jenny Motion, the Android emulator, sorry, folks. Also not supported natively or via Rosetta 2 on Macs with Apple Silicon. Just Android support is just really poor right now. Hopefully it'll improve soon. Macports, a package management system that simplifies the installation of software on the Mac OS and Darwin operating systems, does have some ports that are native while others work under Rosetta 2. That's what it does it arm says. By the way, if you haven't checked out the site, very useful resource, doesitarm.com. And yes, this will tell you uh, if certain pieces of software are fully supported on ARM and on M1 Max, as well as any partial support under Rosetta 2. And of course, you can find things on here such as Git Kraken. So you just go to home and type in the software you're looking for, like for example, Git Kraken. There it is. Um, works under Rosetta 2. So you can find things like that. And Git Kraken, by the way, is a free Git GUI client. Very nice tool. Does it arm. That's pretty much it for today, folks. Thanks a lot. And that's the update as of right now. Now things are always being developed and in constant motion. So things will change. Check the date on the video. And as always, Thanks for watching and have a nice day.